Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given the synchronous sequential circuit. And for the given circuit, here we have been asked to find the sequence of states through which this circuit will go when the clock pulses are given. So let us find that. So here, initially let us assume that this value of the Q1 and Q0 is equal to 0. And with that, let us find out the sequence of states through which this circuit will go when the clock pulses are given. That means here initially the value of the Q1 and Q0 is equal to 0. That means at that time this Q0 bar will be equal to 1. And the same 1 will also appear over here. Likewise this 0 will also appear over here. That means if we see the output of this OR gate then that is equal to 1. That means for the next clock pulse, the input to the T flip flop is equal to 1. That means here, this T1 is equal to 1. Similarly, for the second flip flop, this 0 will appear over here. And as the Q1 is 0, so the second input to the OR gate is also equal to 0. That means here, the output of this OR gate will also be equal to 0. So we can say that for this T0 flip flop, the input is equal to 0. That means now for the next clock pulse, the input to the T flip flops are 1 and 0 respectively. And as you know, when the input to the T flip flop is 1, then the output will toggle. And whenever the input is 0, then it will remain in the same state. That means with the given inputs, if you see the next state, then this Q1 will become 1. Because earlier, that was equal to 0. And similarly, if we see the Q0, then it will remain in the same state. That means this Q0 will remain 0. So we can say that the synchronous sequential circuit has gone from the 0, 0 to 1, 0 state. That means now the new values of the Q1 and Q0 is equal to 1 and 0. So with these values, now let us find out the new input to the flip flop. So now this Q1 is equal to 1 while the Q0 is equal to 0. So the same 0 will also appear over here and this Q1 output will appear as the second input to the OR gate. That means now the output of the second OR gate is equal to 1. Or we can say that the input to this T0 flip flop is equal to 1. So now here since the Q0 is 0. So this Q bar will be equal to 1 and the same 1 will also appear over here. Likewise, this Q1 output will be the one of the input to this OR gate. That means for the first OR gate, if we see the output, then that is also equal to 1. So we can say that for the next clock cycle, the input to the T1 flip flop is also equal to 1. So now if you see, then the inputs for the both flip flop is equal to 1. That means now they will toggle their present state at the next clock pulse. So now this Q1 will become 0 while the Q0 will become 1. So we can say that now the output of the synchronous sequential circuit will go from the 1 0 to the 0 1 state. And now this will be the present state of the circuit. So with this state now let us see the new inputs for the flip flop and let us see what will be the next state. So now if you see then this Q1 is equal to 0 while the Q0 is equal to 1. So now this same 1 will also appear over here and this Q1 output will be the second input to the OR gate. That means once again the output of the second OR gate will be equal to 1 or we can say that this T0 input is equal to 1. Similarly, if we see the input for this first OR gate, then here, since the Q0 is 1, so the Q bar will be equal to 0, and the same 0 will appear over here. And here, since the Q1 is 0, so the second input to the OR gate is equal to 0. That means if we see the output of the first OR gate, then that is equal to 0. Or we can say that the input to the first flip flop, or this T1 is equal to 0. That means whenever the present state of the circuit is equal to 0 and 1 at that time, the new inputs for the flip-flop 
will be equal to 0 and 1. So with these inputs, now let us see the next state of the flip-flops. So here, since the t0 is 1, so the output of this flip-flop will remain in the same state. That means in the next state, this q1 will also remain 0. And here, since the t0 is 1, so the output of this flip-flop will toggle. So earlier it was 1, so now it will become 0. So we can say that from the 0 1 state, now the circuit will go into the 0 0 state. And from then onwards, the same sequence will repeat. That means with the every clock pulse, this is the sequence of the outputs through which the given circuit will go. So as per the sequence that we got, this A option is the correct one. But if you see the A option, then here the initial state of the circuit is equal to 1 1. And from the 1 1, it is going into the 0 0 state. So in the given circuit, let us assume that the initial state is 1 1 and let us indeed check it is going into the 0 0 state. So if that is going into the 0 0 state, then indeed the A option is the correct one. So here, let's assume that the initial state of the circuit is equal to 1 1. So with these states, if we see the value of the Q0 bar, then that is equal to 0. So the same 0 will appear over here. And one of the input to the OR gate will be equal to 1. So we can say that the output of this OR gate is equal to 1. So we can say that for the next clock cycle, the input to the T1 flip-flop will be equal to 1. So in this table, if we see, then here, the present state is equal to 1, 1. And with these states, this value of the T1 will be equal to 1. Similarly, for the second flip-flop, if we see, then one of the input to the OR gate is equal to 1. And if we see the second input, then that is also equal to 1. So we can say that the output of the second OR gate is also equal to 1. Or we can say that the input to this T0 flip-flop is also equal to 1. That means for the next clock cycle, the input to the flip-flop will be equal to 1, 1. And therefore, both the flip-flops will toggle their present state. So presently, since they are in the 1, 1 state, so their next state will be equal to 0, 0. So we can say that indeed the given circuit is going from the 1, 1 state to the 0, 0 state. And once it goes into the 0, 0 state, then it will repeat this sequence. So we can say that initially the circuit is in the 1, 1 state and then after it follows given sequence. And from this we can say that for the given question, this A is the correct answer.